Good afternoon, Dr. Anjit sir, Dr. Rajiv Kumar sir, respected jury members, and all my dear participants. Myself, Neil Kamal Bhattu, and I'm a student of National Forensic Sciences University. Today, I'll be presenting before you the contactless biometric system. As you all are well versed, the world is battling together for a common problem, the COVID pandemic. It had been declared by WHO as public health emergency of international concern on 30th of January 2020 and pandemic on 11th of March 2017. As said, history repeats itself. We can not deny, looking at the current scenario, the conditions are worse. New challenges create new opportunities. We need to look forward to a new alternative approach, which would not create an obstacle for us performing our daily activities with much more precautions. Now, I'll be discussing on the solutions for the contact-based sensors, which are switching over to the contactless ones. They have polarizers, which are used to manage the effect of light and band pass filters, which allow only the required frequency. However, the illuminators and filter deteriorate the image quality. The newly advancements which can be used in contactless systems are the inclusions of camera and the software approach. The touchless devices have greater windows and are about 24 to 34 millimeters. Size of image is about 480 to 640 pixels, which is almost double of which is on the contact sensors. In the graph alongside, we can see that the line represents the receiver operating characteristic. The red line represents the touchless finger sensor and the blue line represents the touch-based finger sensor. It is plotted against the false acceptance rate and the genuine acceptance rate. As we can see that the genuine acceptance rate of red line is higher than the blue line. The touchless sensors are more efficient. When we see the figures below, the stationary touchless and the mobile touchless, new technologies have advanced when the use of fingerprint recognition for mobile devices is emerging, which can be connected and controlled via Bluetooth. The Wayne Seek Pro app is to able capture without any software. This approach is based on fact that different colors of light penetrate different depth within the skin. Touchless finger vein and palm vent sensors have been developed. The lack of any control in the collection process typically causes significant rotation and translation variation. The advantages of contactless systems are the images of fingerprint can be acquired without plastic distortion from contact pressure. Latent fingerprints do not appear on sensor. Hygienic problems are solved and a large image area can be captured quickly. I would like to conclude by saying that just as the two foot distance is necessary for curb curbing the hazardous disease, so is the two inch distance while recording the biometrics. We need to transform from touch to touchless. Thank you.